All right, we are back. And I am still Steve because I haven't logged out yet to refresh it. But we're going to get some work done today. So last time we made a crafting table. And today we're going to use said crafting table. But before we go moving it, to go make what I need to make with it, we're going to get some more things done with it here. So, first thing is we are making a drain. And it can be any iron or any steel rods, eight of them, and a wrench. There is our drain. Now, I want to make a cauldron, which is a hammer. There we go, cauldron. Broke that hammer. That's why I have a second one. And then we need to make a uh, where is my rolling pin there's my rolling pin and we need to get ah screwed that up good didn't you five of these out of here we need a rolling pin and a knife. And we'll do that to make the clay bowl. We're going to throw that in there, let it get cooked up. And while we're doing so, I need to get two of these. We need to do like that. We're going to use two copper plates. And I do believe it's a hammer. Ah, there it is. Two wooden buckets with copper bands. There is my bowl. And we're going to put the bowl in here with an iron ingot. And that's going to make us a mortar. Alright, so. The wooden buckets can be used for only specific uh, fluids. Obviously, lava is not one of them. Do not try picking up lava in a wooden bucket. It's a bad idea. Um, actually, in GT6, it just doesn't work. It would be really funny if it burned it up and, you know, caught your ass on fire too. But I just think it doesn't work. I haven't actually tried it, and I'm not going to waste my bucket today to go test it. So, um, we're going to be using it for water. But before we do that, we need to use this mortar, which has a little NEI button on here. If you want to see all the different things it can do, you can make mortars out of diamonds and sapphires as well. So you have the regular one, which is any iron or steel. Then you have this one, which is netherite, which is nether stuff, which was added here recently. This one, which is any sapphire. This one, which is any diamond. This one, which is any amethyst. Um, they all do the same thing. They only will break down things up to about hardness of iron so don't think making a diamond one will allow you to do harder stuff this is just supposed to be a stopgap thing until you get a shredder so now I need to use it on these clay balls to get me some clay dust and you'll see my hunger is going down extraordinarily bad that is the cost of using it is your hunger all right I think I have enough of these so now let's go get some stuff set up let me go ahead and do this real quick make those as we talked about, we're going to be making some glue 
today. We'll do that when we get this part done. So we're going to move this out here. I will eventually be running this pipe a lot further, but for right now we're going to come over here and we want just this little bit of fresh water we have right here. And we're going to take, shut up sheep. And we're going to put this advanced crafting table right there for the moment. And I need to go get my saw I forgot to grab. Because we are going to make some wooden pipes. We want huge wooden pipes, which need beams, a saw, and a soft hammer. So let me go grab those tools and we will get this done. I'll be making a lot of wooden pipes, but I'm not going to sit here and craft them all today. While you guys are stuck here, because a hammer will only do, I think, 16 crafts. So uh, I'll have to craft me a bunch of hammers up to do this. Right now, we're just doing this quickly for getting this coke oven done. Alright, so we want saw and hammer. And we'll just craft up however many I can do with that hammer there. I guess it does more than 16, huh? Alright, well, 16 will be enough for what I need to do. We're going to go ahead and put the drain... On that pipe right there. Well, let's go one more out. And then we're going to bring this up and over. And I missed the table by one block. Go figure. All right. Now we'll just pop these out of here. Pipe in there, use the wrench, connect it, and then connect that one. As long as we click on it, it'll be automatically connected. We only need to connect it if we don't place it off of it. So there we go, they're all connected. Now we're going to put the drain. Right there, so it's a block under the water. So it's got water over it. And now, if I take my bucket and put it up there, it should fill with water. If I did everything right. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get order real quick. This will tell me if I screwed something up. I'm going to open. Hey, why are you not opening that pipe? We're not open to water. We can open to air. Never actually tried to open to water. Um. Another fluid pipe here. Connect that there. Open that. Alright, so that filled. Why is the table not filling? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I know why. It's been a while since I've done this. I think I have to fill it. And it will refill it. Alright, so I need to make up. Uh, we're making a Coke oven. So we need a 3x3 three three structure hollow of 25 fire bricks. And then the actual controller, 
which needs another fire brick. So we need 26 fire bricks for this. So, um, that did not fill that. It just moved that one down. Why is, why is you not filling? You most definitely should be. There's a bucket's worth of water in there. Hmm. I know I've done this before. Let's just do it manually for right now. I can go and get a make a barrel to connect to it, but I don't want to make a barrel right now. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. I gotta figure out why this is not working. Because the pipe has a, oh, wait a minute. It has a capacity of 1,200, but only a bandwidth of 600. That might be the problem. It has a capacity to hold it, but not the bandwidth to move it. I need to find some lead. I have some in one of these here. That's Pyrolusite. Oh, by the way, there's four sword blades in there. That's the other thing I grabbed from the fort I forgot about. There was some uh, Damascus sword blades and I certainly ain't leaving them behind I just haven't used them yet I've literally just been running like a scared little bitch from mobs haven't really been doing much on the way of killing them alright so we're gonna make two long lead rods and we're going to make a water barrel if we had enough heat in here which we don't let's go ahead and put some more wood in this bad boy And let that heat up. And let's get these out of here. Thank you. And you know what? We're actually going to need that other slime ball. Because to make a barrel, we actually need... The glue bottle. So, we need to make some glue. So, luckily, we have those two slime balls because I want one glue for something else. Let's go grab some water. We need to make sure we get over here and get the fresh water. There we go. Only need one. So we're only going to use 250 of it, I do believe, for each slime ball. By the way, you can take the uh, ball and connect it as well to the pipe, which I will be doing. Just, uh, not right now. All right, go ahead and grab that water out of there. Don't really need it. And then we can break this. And I'll drain the rest of the water out of there. I don't know why I made a water bottle. I can drink it if I really need to get rid of it. All right, so now I'm going to need four of these. Let's go back out to the crafting table because I need my... 
um, saw and hammer, which are already in the table. All right, so you get out of there. We need hammer. We need saw. We need planks. We need one of the blue bottles. Too long, and that gives us an eight bucket tank, which we are going to. Uh, I'm going to have to change this for the cauldron. Except I'm actually going to be moving the cauldron anyway, so it's not a deal. Alright, so wooden barrel goes right there. And now it should be filling up with water. By the way, if you use a saw on a wooden pipe, it's faster than an uh, axe. Well, let's see, does this fill up now without me filling it first? I do believe it only refills, so let's... Oop. You know what? You are still not going. You most definitely should be. And I don't know why you are not. Huh. We'll fill vertically adjacent tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should not matter. Um, it did fill that for a minute there. There was water in it. This is supposed to work, so it's quicker than doing it manually, but it is definitely not wanting to work now. Oh, wait a minute. Is it only working when I... It's not updating. Okay. It's a visual thing. It is working. It's just not showing that it's working. It's not synchronizing. And now it is empty. Because it can't fill as fast as what I was moving them out of there so there's some kind of sync thing with it so if i leave and come back it will eventually fill it i think i think um i really don't know why that's not uh refilling that there is something acting really weird with this. Let me... I'm going to do some testing later. See if I can figure out what this is. Right now, we're just going to get this damn thing done. I need to make a... Uh, A magnifying glass so I can see what's in that barrel. Break it for the moment. Let's see, wooden barrel only has 600 liters of water in it. Oh, you know what? I bet I screwed it up when I hit the fill thing because it's trying to fill the pipe below it. I just thought about it. I screwed it up myself. Let's see. Now, if I put them back in there, pull that out, yeah, now it's working. Just that visual thing of it not filling, which is kind of annoying. 
unless I leave and come back and then it works. Okay, so now I need that and I need the iron, but let's go ahead and take this on back inside. I think that's where I'm going to be using it from now on. We may be doing a uh, montage of me building a bit of a building. Uh, don't know if you guys have actually seen the uh, fort one. Because as of time of recording this, I actually haven't done it yet. I'm literally doing this recording right after I did the other one, so I haven't had time to mess around anymore with that. Oh, I already made the screws, didn't I? Alright, so you and you. And then for... Hey, I need to eat something. I am a starving. Alright, so I'm guessing you're going to need a file and a screwdriver. Or a hammer and a screwdriver. Haha. -ha. There we go. And I'm going to build my building right up here on this nice little flat area we got, I think. It's just going to be a small building for right now. So we're going to build this here. And before I get to that, and we're going to put a fluid pipe right there, open upwards, and then we're going to have another one right there, and it is going to be open upwards as well. Both of them connected. And then we're going to build the rest of this out here. Make sure to leave the center hollow. And the face right there. And now we need to go and grab some wood for this thing. But I'm... Um, out of an axe. I've actually gone through all the axes that we had from the testing the other day. I went through collecting all the wood for making these pipes. So I finally got all them used up. there and we hit it with that and that turns it on and we are now making charcoal and you'll notice I put 20 in there and there's now four left it does 16 at a time so it'll take a little bit longer to get you uh, your charcoal, your first charcoal, but you'll get 16 and done at a time. And a Greg Tech Coke oven, faster than any other Coke oven out there. I love this Coke oven. It is so nice. Alright, and for anybody that doesn't know, you can automate in and out um, with hoppers. So you can put a hopper on the top, hopper on the bottom. And it will automate the stuff in. I haven't made any hoppers yet, so I won't be automating it that way for the moment. But the nice thing about this is I'm going to get some creosote, which I can use to make some crates to move stuff from the fort back over here. 
and for um, filling my donkey up with crates to move ores back and forth. And also the charcoal can be used for um, making iron so I don't have to use coal to do it. But like I said, coal coke is better than uh, coal and it's also better than charcoal. Coal and charcoal are equal where coke is better by uh, half. So one coke is one carbon, two coal or two charcoal are one carbon. So I will probably still be using uh, coal just to get the uh, so I'm not having to sit here and cut down trees all day. I've got a pretty nice uh, vein of coal right over there. So it's not too hard to get to. It is literally right here on... Oh, wait a minute. It's not this one. It's this island right here. So it's not too far away. There's actually a... Right here at this end is where my coal mine is. So I'll be going and getting some of that. I'm sure I will use some charcoal here and there for the steel but I also or for iron but I'll still be using coal too or uh, like I said coke and coke is a really good um, thing to use in boilers because it lasts so much longer than charcoal all right so i need a rolling pin and a knife give me another one of bowls and while we're here we need some sugar cane uh sugar cane hello sugar cane did I miss it or I know I picked some up am I blind again there it is I am blind again alright so three of these make me a piece of paper no thank you do you believe I can do it this way? Really? I thought you could do it that way. Huh. I thought we could make paper with sugar cane in... Yeah, we should be able to. Oh, you dumbass. This is a bath. I gotta make a bathing pot, not a mixing bowl. Why are you being stupid? Alright. We need to make a bath. Alright. So we need a, another glue bottle. And a long lead rod. To make a bath. And that's what I'm needing to make anyway. So I need to actually make two of these. Where did I put the lead? Um, lead. I know I've got a little bit. I don't want to use the Galena yet. There we go. Get up out of there. And we're going to go ahead and wash this. Since we have the cauldron over there. The nice thing about washing it is it gets the stone dust out of it. So you don't have to worry about having that mixed in your or anymore so I don't have to beat it to get it out of there so you'll see it now says purified lead has 1.25 lead no stone Aww. and when you do so you have a chance of getting a byproduct out of it 
and I didn't get any byproducts that time. So I could have gotten a little bit of sulfur or a little bit of silver, either in tiny dust form or nugget form. But this time I did not. Let's go ahead and throw this in here. Now I could have hammered that and gotten the dust and the a one eighth of a lead back out of it. But since I have this the stone out of it, I'm just going to throw it in here and do it this way. There is... Why did you do that? You're not trying to light it on fire. There we go. And then... There we go. That's all the lead out of there, and I didn't have to waste my anvil. Alright, now let's go see if that rubber tree has grown yet. Because I need one of these glue bottles. And I am running out of glue. Hey, my rubber tree grew. And there is a creeper and a zombie right by my damn rubber tree. And by the way, since we're out here, the uh, willow tree, that is going to end up being my thing for making charcoal because you get two charcoal for every log of willow versus one for every other wood. Willow is just way better. Okay, you can go away, Mr. Skeleton. Let's get you to come up here. Like I said, I have been being a little bitch and just kind of running from these guys. Especially these guys, because Greg has given them back their nasty arrows and one of them that he gave them has werebane at least one of them he's given them has werebane I don't know how many he has um, there's not quite as many oh that's two witches under my willow tree yeah we don't want to die today Let me go drop some crap off real quick. Wasn't planning on killing a bunch of shit and filling up my inventory. Or, you know, cutting grass, which I didn't mean to do either. Um, yeah. Just throw my tools on my workbench. I have some dirt now. I need to use that. I have this one area over here that is just ugly as hell. Got comatite showing over here, and it annoys the piss out of me every time I run by it. So I'll fill this up with some of this dirt and make it look a little nicer. Yeah, get up here. Let me stab the shit out of you. Alright. And there's a creeper there. Creeper and a skeleton there. I really need to get a bow. Yeah, I see you. Come on, throw your slow me down potion. Thank you. Don't want you poisoning me. I'll let you throw that throw slow me down potion and then I will kill your ass I know how to deal with you stupid witches 
All right, so now my rubber tree. Aha, I got a spot on my rubber tree. I need to make a sap bag to hang on there, but I got to get some leather for that. So we'll be doing that in a few videos to come after I trap me some cows. For right now, we are going to make some glue. And we're going to make some mixing bowls. Give me that. All right. So now, get that stuff out of there. We need five. So I need ten. Just like that. That goes there. The two boo bottles go there. And you want a regular hammer and a saw. Alright, so there's my two bathing pots. Um, same thing with the wooden bathing pots as the mixing bowl. You can put make them into a full block just by adding a brick slab underneath them. Uh, you can only do specific materials with this. Don't try to put anything acidic or too hot in it or you will burn it up. But it works perfectly for creosote and it also works perfectly for water which is what I will be using it for. Just throw this here for the moment, put that in there, and then I can take my sugar cane, and instead of using three of them to make one piece of paper, I can use three of them to make three pieces of paper. And now, we just need another glue bottle, and I can make the tape I've been trying to make for like three days. Now, so this is a good enough time to explain the rubber tree here. Um, it works off of the leaves, so unlike the IC2 one, do not turn this into a penis farm with a bunch of logs with no uh, leaves on them. The more leaves that are left here, the faster it will produce resin. You will only get one resin per hole, and you can get a tree with no holes. I don't think I've seen a tree with two holes. Um, but you can put a sap bag on it, which I will be doing when I get some leather. Dun. See if I can find that little pain in the butt thing here it's a really small picture and I don't know I keep forgetting the actual name of this thing so it might not actually there it is resin sap bag so I just need three sticks and five pieces of leather with a saw and then I can put that on here which will collect the resin and it'll hold up to a stack of it. There is no way that I have found to automate it. I have tried it with uh, hoppers and stuff like that and you can't collect it. I'm guessing if you had a robot or a um, automated user you could automate it with that, but it's not too difficult to plant, you know, six or seven rubber trees and then come out and grab six or seven stacks of resin when you need it. And since we're kind of waiting on this thing to produce another resin, the willow tree, like I said, uh, gives you extra charcoal for... Um, cooking it in the coke oven, but 
It also drops sticks when you chop it down. So not only will I get the logs, I will also get willow sticks to go along with it. And it's a really good um, supplier of saplings. So I got eight willow sticks and six saplings from one tree as long as I didn't miss any here. It doesn't look like I did. So they are really good for uh, farming if you want to farm saplings for uh, biomass. They are really good for that uh, because of their sapling count that you usually get. And then you also have a endless supply of uh, sticks so you won't have to use any wood to make sticks and you can eventually end up burning them because I ended up with so many of them that I just set up a boiler and automated the sticks into it all right so let's get our last blue bottle here that I need Now, with those three pieces of paper and a glue bottle, if I'm remembering this right. Uh, let's see. Roll the tape. Oh, it goes below it, not above it. There we go. Tape. So, this one has, one, has 10,000 uses. And what I'm going to use this for is to tape up my barrel. And let me go ahead and take out what's in there. That way I'm not wasting a bunch of durability because each item that's in the barrel counts as a thing. So that counted as 100 even though there's none in it but now I can break this and marble cobblestone so it remembers that it was marble cobblestone if it still had all of this in there it would have uh, retained it and we can use a pair of scissors or a knife to cut the tape back out but I will be making a few of these and putting them in my donkey up there for collecting the limestone, the diorite, the marble in the different veins that I'm going and mining uh, to bring those rocks back or those cobblestones back when I go mining. So that is why I've been trying to get the uh, tape now once you advance a little further in Greg Tech you do have regular duct tape and then you have the brain tech aerospace advanced reinforced duct tape FAL 84 and each one of them has more uses than the last one so this one's 10,000 this one's a hundred thousand and this one is, I do believe that's a million. Uh, this one is used out of tungsten foil. And this one is plastic, thin plastic sheets. So you'll be using the paper one for quite a while until you get to uh, where you can make plastic. Unless you want to use the tungsten one because you can literally get the tungsten before you can get the plastic. But I'm not wasting tungsten on tape. So yeah. I'll be using the paper ones. I will just have to make me a uh, farm out here to get sugar cane for making my paper. Or you can also use wood. But you have to use uh, wood pulp. And I do believe you should be able to do 
Um, let's actually check. I think. Is there an extra? No. It would have cooked all of it that I put in there. Let's grab this here. All right. Well, it broke before the rest of the wood did. But let's go see if we can mortar wood. I'm guessing we can. All right. We can't mortar that. How about the plank? Um, plank. No, we actually can't mortar wood down to wood pulp. Huh. All right, so we're not going to be doing it that way. It's a shredder recipe you can do it with. All right. Well, apparently we're not going to be doing that now. The one way we can do it is splinters. These we might be able to break down on there. Aha. All right. So we can get wood pulp from splinters. So if we make a bunch of uh, wooden hammers and break them crafting pipes and stuff, then we can use that to make wood pulp it's not going to be a sufficient way of doing it unless you make a bunch of wooden hammers to just smack things to use durability that would be a very uh inefficient way of getting uh wood pulp It'd be a lot easier to just plant a whole lot of sugar cane and use that which is probably what i'll end up doing but i do believe the next video you guys see will probably be me building an actual building over here so i can get out of this cave i am so disorganized with all those random chests which is stuff thrown in them i need to get something that i can sort out but i don't want to sort it out in the cave um so i'll be making a building just for throwing that shit in for right now so i will see you guys next time have a good one and i do believe next time you're here i will actually be back to uh looking like myself uh, so i should be logging out after this one so have a good one take it easy don't forget to hit the buttons and do the things and I will see you guys next time.